Good morning, this is Reg Kelly with Table in the Wilderness. And uh, we've got a little lesson today. I don't know if you can see this back here or not, but it's uh, why would uh, God tell husbands uh, to not be bitter toward their wives? You're going to find that in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 19, where the Bible says to husbands, he says, uh, uh, don't be bitter to your wives. He said, husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. And if you'll think about that, uh, I want to just bring a real clip. I, I want you to think about that today. You know, over the country, there's lots of marital problems. And today, we're just going to look at one side of some situations that could be there. But I want you to think about it, especially if you're a wife today or a husband. Um, what, what, why would God say, why would God specifically say for husbands not to be bitter at their wives? God must know there's a problem, doesn't he? I want to give you eight reasons why God may tell us that. Um, I was thinking on this recently and uh, thought occurred to me, I, I, I actually just in a few moments wrote down seven reasons that I've observed in my own life and in dealing with other marriage couples throughout 36 years of preaching, why somebody might be bitter at their wife. So I'm going to give them to you. I wrote them down here on a piece of paper. And, uh, but I want you to think about this. Husbands, be not bitter at your wives. I want to ask you wives, do you ever feel like your husband's bitter at you? Husbands, are you bitter at your wife? Well, the first thing is that a husband may get bitter at his wife about if she's, uh, if she's argumentative, if she corrects him all the time. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 talks about a meek and a quiet spirit. One thing most men can't take, ladies, is an argumentative woman who's going to correct him all the time. I mean, he says, well... We went over there the other day and about five miles down the road here and she stops me and says, no, honey, it was four and three tenths. A husband don't like that. He don't like a wife constantly correcting him on little details about everything. Most men see things the big picture. Women see things detailed and that's fine. But uh, women, you need to, if, if, you're, if you're one of them women who all the time argue with your husband, you're all the time correcting him, but it doesn't matter what he says, you're going to correct him and you're going to argue with him then you can expect to have a husband that's got some bitterness in him towards you. I'm, I'm telling you, it, it don't work. Second thing, we've got to run. The Bible says that wives are to reverence their husbands, to respect them. Um, I know that for us men, a lot, it's probably hard for most of you women to respect us as husbands. I mean, that's not a common, we, maybe we haven't earned your respect. But nonetheless, God didn't tell you to reverence your husband or respect him based upon his earning it. Uh, you need to learn how to respect your husband. If you want to draw your husband closer to you and you want to make your husband's relationship a lot better, let him know you reverence him. You respect him. Uh, husbands are built by the Lord to be uh, for their wife to respect them. When a husband senses in his wife that uh, she doesn't respect him uh, and doesn't reverence him, it causes some problems. It really does. He needs that. The rest of the world may hate his guts, but if you respect him, if you reverence him, that'll mean everything to him. Number three, uh, uh, mouthy, loud gossip. But being a gossiper, not first we talked about being argumentative and being, uh, you know, uh, correcting your husband. But a husband, if she's out mouthing all the time. She's out gossiping. She's on the phone. She's on Facebook. She's on chatter all the time. She, she just mouth. Everywhere she goes, she's running her mouth. The Bible says a woman ought to have a meek and a quiet spirit. Doesn't mean you can't be friendly. Doesn't mean you can't visit with people. But if you spend your time just mouth, 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 talk, 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 I mean, you just run in your mouth to everybody in the country all the time. Husbands don't go for that. And I can tell you something, it'll make him bitter towards you. Why don't you shut your mouth? Why, why do you have to be talking all the time to everybody about everything? God don't like that. I'm telling you, I've been around 36 years pastor and I've been around a lot of people. I've heard a lot of problems behind the back door a lot of people don't hear about. Number four, your husband may be bitter at you because you're manipulating him, like old Jezebel did. You're always working things. You're always working things around. You're manipulating your husband to get him to do this and to get him to do that. It's not driven by love or uh, mutual respect or, or common need or consideration. It's, you're going to manipulate your husband. You know how to work him. You know how to get it done. Can I tell you something? Your husband sees through that. He may not even let you know he sees through it, but he sees through it. And if you're not careful, you'll wake up. Uh, I mean, listen, I've talked to people. Did you know that 85% of the men who leave their wives, they leave after, they're 40, after 40 years old? 
They get tired of it. They get bitter toward it. Then uh, here's a big one. If a woman uses her body in, uh, as a reward or punishment, she uses intimacy or, you know, or, or, or the intimacy, the fleshly intimacy. She uses that for, in other words, well, uh, you do what I want, we can go to bed together tonight. You don't do what I want, we don't go to bed together tonight. You use your body, that's sorry. That's the last, that's, that's 50 million miles away from love. Using your body to reward and punish your own husband? What kind of witch are you? Really, read 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And see what the Bible says about that. And then uh, number six, uh, watch this now. You've gotten to the point of where you don't have any physical desire for your husband. Oh, you make love with your husband, but it's just duty. He can't sense any desire for you. Oh, you was really hot for him whenever you first got met and got married. But now you have no desire to be with your husband physically. And he knows it. He can sense it. You don't get any kick out of it. You don't get any enjoyment out of it. No pleasure out of it. And uh, you better watch out. You better watch out. Don't let your lovemaking, your, uh, your physical relationship turn into a duty as opposed to a desire. Men want to be desired, just like you do, ladies. And they don't want to be felt like that. Well, this, she's just fulfilling her duty, but she doesn't really enjoy me at all. The seventh thing men sometimes get bitter at wives is, is an independent spirit. I don't need you. I can live without you. If you leave, no big deal. I can leave. I can make a living without you. I don't need you. An independent spirit, that'll get you. And I, those are the first seven things that I thought about that I've you know, observed and, and so forth in my life. But uh, God spoke to me a couple of days after I wrote those down. That Reggie, you're not done. Seven's completion, eight's the number of new beginning in the Bible. God says, Reggie, you missed the biggest reason that men are bitter toward their wives. I said, Lord, what is that? He said, read the verse. Colossians 3.19, Husbands, love your wives. Be not bitter against them. Every husband, listen to me. You'll get bitter at your wife if you don't love her. Love suffers wrong. She may do several of those things that I listed, those seven, seven things. She may do any or all of them. She may do one or five of them. But did you know love suffers long and is kind? And that you will get bitter towards your wife eventually if you don't love her. Husbands, love your wife. God even said in the book of Visions, as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Pretty hard to be bitter at somebody that you love. So in spite of all your wife's failures and in spite of all your wife's things that you may not like and you're having a hard time not being bitter over it, just love her. Love her like Christ loves you. He loves you anyway. He loves me anyway. This Reg Kelly table in the wilderness, I hope this might help you along the trail. Uh, don't forget our services tomorrow. Brother Danny Douglas is going to be preaching for us tomorrow at the preaching hour at 11 o'clock. We'll have Bible study in the morning at 9.45 on the subject of faith. The just shall live by faith four times in the Bible. Faith's a big subject. Then tomorrow night, Jeremy Hopper will be preaching for us. So, I kind of got the day off. I'll be teaching Bible class. But come be with us at Liberty Faith Church at Norwood, Missouri. And husbands, be not bitter at your wives. Have a great day. See you later.